Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the Hellfire Citadel Raid Guide for Normal and Heroic. This time we'll be looking at the Hellfire High Council. So this is three bosses. You've got Gertog Bloodboil, Dia Dark Whisper, and Blade Master Jubathos. All of them have their own set of abilities, and when they get to 30% health, they'll gain something new. This isn't like the Iron Maidens, where if one gets to 30%, they all go crazy. They'll do it individually, so you can kill one, and then have the other two at full health, and kill them individually. So, that's how this fight progresses. Due to those abilities, I would kill Gertok, then Blademaster, then Dia. The first thing that you need to know is Dia needs to be tanked away from the other two, so we took her over to the left-hand side with one tank, and Gertok and Blademaster are on the right-hand side with the other tank. So let's have a quick look at their abilities. Gertok is going to use Blood Boil. This is going to damage the five furthest targets from him. So it's just a little bit of damage. Keep that healed up. It should be fine. He also has a tank debuff called Acidic Wound. This is going to reduce armor and starts dealing damage over time. You don't actually need to tank swap for this because there's an ability called Fell Rage. Now, he focuses on a random raid target and starts chasing them. If he gets melee hits off on them, he'll gain a stack of fury, increasing his damage dealt. You can dispel that, so it's not too much to worry about, but the deal here is that the person who is focused wants to take the boss far away from the tank who's tanking him, so that he's got the time for him chasing and then getting back to the tank for his 30 second debuff to reset. Gertok's last ability is Demolishing Leap. He'll jump around the room, dealing damage dependent on how close people are to his impact location. So, if this happens, stay away from where he's landing. We didn't actually get any Demolishing Leaps, it's on a huge cooldown and we killed him first. Below 30% he'll use Tainted Blood, which reduces everybody's max health by 10%. That persists through the rest of the fight, so you need to nuke him down as soon as he hits 30%. Blade Master is very easy to deal with. All of his abilities are very well telegraphed. So the first one is Fell Blade. Green arrow will show where he's going to throw a sword. It'll go out, come back in, dealing damage along its path. Stay away from wherever that green arrow is pointing. He will also use Fell Storm, which is a typical AoE to the entire raid. Just keep it healed up and you should be fine. His last ability is Windwalk. He'll summon a load of mirror images, which will cast the exact same abilities. So you're going to start having to dodge a lot of these blades. And if he starts casting Felstorm, it's going to be a lot more damage. So just be aware of that. Kill the mirror images and he'll go back to his normal self. Below 30%, he'll start casting Wicked Strike. This is a decent amount of damage to the raid. Every time it's cast, it increases in damage. That casts continually throughout the fight, even after he dies, so that's why we kill him second. Dear Dark Whisper isn't too difficult either, she's just got a few annoying debuffs, so her first ability is Nightmare Visage. She will start doing a lot of damage to your tank, so have him pop a cooldown, maybe get some externals, focus on healing, it's really easy to deal with. Her second ability is Mark of the Necromancer. This is a magic debuff, which does increasing shadow damage over time. It needs to be dispelled, but not too quickly, because when you dispel it, it goes to two other targets. So, wait for it until it's doing a high amount of damage, dispel it, and then deal with it from there. Keeping the number of marks down is very important for her next ability, Reap. All marked targets will get reaped, leaving a damaging AoE on the floor, so anybody who's marked when Reap is coming, move out to the side of the room where possible. Her last ability is Wailing Horror. This is a huge AoE in the entire room. Everybody should stack up because it's going to deal a lot of damage, but there's Wailing Horrors, little ghosts which fly around the room. Avoid those because they do a lot of damage as well. When she reaches 30%, she'll mark half the raid, but she will no longer cast Reap. By that time, it really shouldn't be a problem at all, and you should just be able to finish her off. That should be everything you need to take down the Hellfire High Council on Normal and Heroic. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you. Feel free to check out any of my other guides for Hellfire Citadel, Normal and Heroic. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.